Welcome back to Satisfactory Update 6. My name is Niels and I will be your guide on this uh, tutorial series and let's play of, uh, of this beautiful game. So we are still in, uh, in, in bug country uh, on the experimental. We still have the issue with our, uh, our oil or, or water up here that turns into nuclear waste. That is unfortunately not being fixed just yet. But uh, on, uh, aside from that, we have uh, monsters spawning all over our base. So that's nice. It doesn't really matter much because I, I have a plan for what we want to do today. It is a big project and that project will be a giant central storage because as I start building, if we look at the starter build down here, it is all very nice. This is my starter build. We build it together. It's, it does what it's supposed to. And the only thing that's the problem with it is, well, if I need to grab some stuff, then I have to go out here and then I also need some steel pipes and I'll come here and then I need some steel. Uh, some encased and dusted beams and I need to go there and the beams up here and the plastic over there. I don't have plastic, but you know, it'll start being spread out. So one of the things that I ended up doing too much last episode or last series was I ran all over the place and even with trains, just spending two minutes uh, train ride just to go over and grab some aluminum plates from the aluminum factory and then come back. So we are not going to do this this time. What I want to do is I want to grab all of this stuff and all of the stuff in this tower and the new encased industrial beam that we have here. A small little extra build. It's nothing particularly interesting. It takes the beams, uh, the pipes and some concrete in and then make some encased industrial beams that we definitely want. So I want to take all of these things and get them into a central storage. And I want to make it up here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is, well, find the place. Why do I want it up here? Well, I have so far started to build from this location. And then my intention is I want to move closer and closer. Each new factory will be closer and closer to the new beautiful biome because right now this is kind of uh, the boring biome uh, so we need to get over there towards the more interesting new stuff so we can build it sort of probably on top of uh, that location look so let's uh, start by uh, building a bit of a platform up there just to see the idea of it and talk a bit about how we are going to integrate it and now we're just casually running up towards our new location and what you will see is that there will be an increasing amount of spaghetti pipes or not spaghetti pipes but these ramps anywhere anytime i want to ramp somewhere i'll just end up building another ramp and it'll be a bit crisscrossed eventually i'll uh, I'll, I'll clean it up but for now the most important thing is just getting up to a location so we have a location here and the reason why this is a good location well i have a nice view out here I have a nice view over, to, over here. Eventually, I want to make some uh, some hy uh, hypertube cannons so that I can, for example, hey, I need to go this way, then hypertube my way that way or this way or any of the other path. I think that's a great idea to sort of have something and therefore it needs to be pretty high up. Uh, this is a good location, so we are also getting here. So let's talk a bit about how my intention is. I don't want to have any local storage at any production facility. I will be uh, removing all the boxes I have once I move things up here. And then I start designing some ideas for what I want to do. And I think this is, the, uh, this is what I'm going to work with. I will have two items in, one, two, and they will just be built here. And then I will have a lot of these uh, hyper tubes going out. And the reason, the idea is that I will, I'll take the lower levels and just be the boring stuff from the starter hub. And then the other things will sort of be plastics and heavy industrial, oh, heavy modular frames and more interesting stuff. And then I want to be able to say, hey, if I have a plastic factory and I want to go there, then I want to be able to jump into this hypertube and be taken to the plastic factory, wherever that's going to be. And I think that's a really cool idea for a future base. That's why I've made so many exits because I want this to be both a storage hub where we can get resources, but also a distribution hub where we can go to go to head to any of the locations because we're going to be having uh, long distances uh, between our things. So let's uh, use the hyper tubes. So all of those have to be incorporated into the design in the beginning. Uh, the idea is also that I want to at each location, make sure that when I get something inbound and uh, let's see, uh, I will be going. Okay. This will be an input. Can I? Smart splitter. So that's a smart splitter. And I can't make enough smart splitters. There. So the idea is the smart splitter comes in here. And 
then I will have some inputs here. I'll get everything from the bottom getting in and it'll be merging in the other one. Next one will be, will it be here or will it will be here? I think it'll be here. Yes. That one. So that means stuff comes in and goes in here and gets put into a box. But then it'll... Yeah, these are still broken. Center is going to be any and left and right will be overflow. There'll only be one. I will then take overflow from here and get back into a transport lane at this point. Uh, that I'll then need to build. That will be right there. Yes. And right here. Okay. So that means out of this, that'll be overflow. Whatever comes in here goes in. Main goes into my box. Once the box is full, the overflow goes back out to this belt or this merging line into the next one. I'll do the same thing for the one up here. And this line will then be fed into an awesome job, an awesome sink. And then I'll have an awesome sink on either side of these locations and basically have all the factories produce and send it in here. And then excess will be pulled out and thrown into sinks. I think that's a good idea. And of course it will just be having the, uh, the highest production always. And then if we sort of at some point say we don't want to put screws or uh, wires or something like that on our, our trash belts or our awesome sink belts, then we'll sort that. So I need to build this for all of them and I need to expand a bit. I need to go up here. I need to build an awesome sink. There's a lot of things we need to do. So let's uh, try and do that and see how it, uh, it looks once we build it a bit better here. All right, it's starting to look like something. I have integrated my two awesome things here. It is deliberate that they are not, uh, well, obviously if I could mirror them, I would mirror them, but you can't. And I thought this looked better with having sort of the towers closer to my opening. So we go in through the opening. We will have awesome uh, things on either side. We will have on the back side. This will go in where we are not supposed to go, but all of this is now set up so that we can get stuff up here. If it comes in, It'll be automatically sent out here and sent it into an awesome sink. Then I have also started working on this part. Uh, it also looks good. This will be a special one for trash. So that when I come back and I just have stuff in my inventory, I just throw it out here. That will be brought out and sent into the awesome sink. If it was powered, of course. So basically, it's nice to have a, a place where anything you don't want to have if you brought too much of something like okay i just need some space and i don't need this one so throw it out then i've marked what i want in each one iron plates rods screws wire cable and sheets on the other side i will have um concrete reinforced iron plates rotors and modular frames all those are coming in then on top, well, we have the more advanced builds. That will be the uh, steel pipes, steel beams, and encased industrial beams. So all of this needs to be coming in here before we sort of are fully ready. My intention is also with this one is that I want to go up on the roof and then have my hub moved out here to go with some small buildings and some uh, cannons to go out. So you can see things are slowly progressing. We have our first of these. Whoosh. It goes in down here to an engineering floor, and then we can see all the way down and this is um this is pretty far down if we uh if we just have a look at it and that's gonna be pretty tricky because our biggest challenge with this is how do we get stuff inbound i now have stuff all the way over here and i need to bring it here here and then somehow bring it up and if i look at this part it's just mm, pretty miserable to uh to be honest really really difficult to work at this point and i also need to bring it all the way back and I don't know why I decided that this was a good place to jump off. But it was, I guess, it was a good place to jump off. We're just going to have a look at how I want to bring stuff out. Because I think that is going to be a nice little setup we can do here. That one. And jump over here. And then we can just go a jump here. 
there we have started making the design for how I want to bring things out of this location so there's a number of things we want to clean up here there I will have six main items oh you can hear the respawning enemies down below they will respawn as soon as you load the game so boo -hoo. um I have all my items that I'm producing I'll just put them up on belts on six belts for the basic items three for iron parts three for copper parts and then we'll have the concrete over here after the concrete we'll have <clears throat> reinforced iron no rotors reinforced iron frames and lastly over here we built a little extra build let me go up here up uh, because I was really tired of not having enough modular frames because you need modular frames for quite a few things and that goes up here here is our modular frame build it's nothing there's nothing super exotic about it I just leech off some of the reinforced iron plates and uh, then we bring that here bring some may bring in some iron rods and then we process it so those will all need to be out here on some belts and as you can imagine yep that's going to be a long and arduous journey to bring it over here i will have six on the top those are the basic ones and then four at the bottom that will be stuff here i'm not going to bring the other ones in uh the steel parts in yet but let's uh let's bring it in and uh, then get ready to hook it all up the first thing you may notice is a change of color we have now uh, got a new color it's the beautiful purple with a bit of golden highlight uh don't know why i wanted to bring this out so what we also have is nice long lines they are all the way over and I will show you something beautiful how it's working it's even to the point where I have a setup here with a hyper tube that we will be riding that hyper tube once we've hooked everything up this is like the most glorious part is hooking all this up so that we want to go here and okay hook all of this up oh man the amount of time it's taken to set this up just to get ready just for this moment of hooking it up it's glorious so let's have a look up here you can see all the belts six belts inbound with basic materials and we're going to be looking at it from an even cooler perspective that is from a ride on the hyper tube and uh, let's see we'll need to do some cleanup back here as well so let's ride the hyper tube because of course, you're going to need a hyper tube going all the way. And yes, you could do something with some accelerators. But hey, if I did the accelerators, we wouldn't have time to just look at how beautiful these flowing lines are. And that's absolutely something we want to see. All the beautiful flowing lines below the here, below these six. There are four more for concrete rotors, reinforced iron plates and modular frames respectively now i've also made some changes over here i've now made some engineering flaws each each and every location so that things uh, are looking so much nicer here and you can actually walk up and down and uh, service it and it makes it uh, so much easier to build new uh, new lines here because we will need to build multiple lines here and we go all the way up yeah this is a a pretty big project to get this done so i think i hope that you i hope you like it i like it I will do, oh, I uh, will actually take this one to go down here. And you know what? I can just go down here. Enjoy the ride. And then let's see when we get our new stuff coming in. Oh, there they are. Look at this. I love this part. This is the best part. And then the idea is we'll bring more stuff. Everything we built in this space will be brought into this location. And there will be a nice massive uh, buses from all sorts of different directions we'll have the steel coming in as well now first of all we have all of the basic stuff and the first ones oh the rotors is the fastest fastest one and then concrete is coming in oh we also have some aggressive biters somewhere don't care don't care we'll deal with those later and then we see stuff coming up every single place there 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 and concrete what about on the other side yes we're getting uh what is this this is yeah plates rods screws wire cable and ingots no no ingots. <laughs> sheets and here as well so from here uh if we want to go down we or if we want to go up yep there will be some erratic camera movements sorry about that that's just how we have to go up here that's a long set of stairs this is good for cardio and Basically, at each of these locations, I built some 
all through it so it looks nice see over here as well and it just flows up at a really really nice uh, pace going all the way up and we're up and from here we take another little tube up and we now have everything coming in let's have a look yep the first bits of screws the first here that means from now on if i want something i can just go in here and grab it of course it's going to take a bit of time to let it flow in here but you know in an hour's time everything will be set up so what do we need to do from here? Well, we need to, uh, we built some glass roof as well. We can go up here, go up top. We have now moved our hub up here and then we have our little workshop area in the back. Uh, from here, we can also have some storage. Then my intention is that we will eventually sort of behind here or something else, somewhere else, build like hyper tubes pointing in various directions so we can sort of go, okay, I want to go to the, to the awful monochromatic swamp area, to the Titan forest. Uh, to the northern forest to maybe even get all the way up there to uh, what is that that's the green no, the, the red forest that's all the stuff we need or the boring area over here so all of those things will be accessible because we now are way up top so we can we can get access to it and what happens once all of these fills up is that just they will start flowing into my uh, my awesome sinks and uh, so from here on, there'll be a lot of cleanup in, in terms of uh, what we want to do. We'll have to replace or remove all of the awesome sink down there, all the local storage once they're empty. We'll need to build some of the things like the steel parts will also need to be brought in. So there's a lot of things that we need to do. But at this point, we have our central hub. And it also means that from now on, anytime I build something, see it even says so, the hub. Uh, if, every time I build a new factory it is the factory is not done until things are brought in here and they have their own place and they have their own hyper tube going back to the factory so that i can easy access it uh, and then as uh, you can see here that's very open because the intention is that i'll keep expanding it out here as necessary and i'll probably need to expand it to maybe twice the size but no more than that i didn't bother doing it because honestly this part without copy paste is pretty damn miserable pretty damn miserable to do that good thing i had good company during my live stream to keep me uh, entertained while i was working on this uh, if you have some ideas about sort of additions and changes to the hub and maybe lights down the middle when we get those kind of constrained on uh, on on tickets at this point or how to integrate the opening i don't really know how to integrate the opening we'll eventually we won't really need the opening because there's nothing out here anyway maybe this will actually be where i put the hyper tube area that would actually be a good idea, except if I want to go the other way, but that might actually be a good idea. So it's not on the roof, but actually out here instead. Otherwise, there's no point with having a main entrance because every, every way we'll get in will be from hypertubes. So that is pretty damn quick. So I hope you uh, like this little showcase of the central hub. I mean, there's a lot of building and I just did. I just wanted to skip all the building part because, you know, it's been taking like six hours to get so far and that doesn't really consist to or to work very well as a youtube episode but i wanted to show you for inspiration how it works and uh, how it actually uh, ties together uh, i could also make some pillars in the corners there's lots of things that we can do as we get more tickets unlocked and get more things out uh, out in the wild so with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are, be sure to hit the like button. That helps a lot with the visibility of these, uh, these kind of videos. Also, of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing uh, so you can keep up to date with all of the factory, factory content, not factory, factory content on my channel. And of course, if you want to join in for live streams, I'm streaming most evenings at 8 p.m. Central European time over on Twitch TV slash Needles. And if you want to go all in, I do have a patron and I really appreciate the people who are supporting the stream monetarily in that regard. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.